I crept silently through the old, creaking house, my heart pounding in my chest. The moonlight seeped through the cracked windows, casting eerie shadows on the decaying walls. The air was heavy with an ominous presence, and a chill ran down my spine. I had heard whispers about this place, tales of its haunted past. People said it was cursed, that those who entered never returned. But curiosity got the better of me, and here I was, exploring the haunted house alone. Every step I took echoed through the empty halls, amplifying the eerie silence. As I turned a corner, I caught a glimpse of movement out of the corner of my eye. My heart skipped a beat, and I froze, my breath caught in my throat. I strained my ears, listening intently for any sign of danger. And then I heard it, a faint whisper, like a distant echo. It seemed to be calling my name, beckoning me further into the darkness. Fear and curiosity battled within me, but I couldn't resist the lure of the voice. Following the whisper, I found myself in a dimly lit room, the air heavy with the scent of decay. The walls were adorned with faded photographs, their subjects staring at me with empty eyes. I felt an overwhelming sense of unease, as if I was being watched. A sudden gust of wind extinguished the lone candle in the room, plunging me into darkness. Panic set in, and I fumbled for my phone, desperately searching for a source of light. But as the screen illuminated the room, I wished I had never found it. The walls were covered in eerie writings, symbols that seemed to writhe and twist in the dim light. The air grew colder, and I could hear the sound of whispers growing louder, filling the room. They seemed to come from all directions surrounding me. Terrified, I turned to leave, but the door slammed shut with a force that shook the entire house. I was trapped, enveloped in a darkness that seemed alive. The whispers grew louder, their voices filled with malice and torment. I screamed, my cries blending with the haunting whispers. Madness gripped me as I realized that I was not alone in that room. Something sinister lurked in the shadows, waiting to claim me. I could feel its presence, its hunger. And then, the whispers stopped abruptly. The room fell silent, but the air was still heavy with malevolence. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the darkness, a twisted, shadowy form with glowing red eyes. It moved towards me, its voice dripping with venom. As it reached out its gnarled hand, a scream 